Oh, dude. That would suck. What's up, YouTube fam? Clint Lund with London Max. It's good to see you guys back here today with, as I promised, we're going to be working on the ESR 325YZ. Worst bike on Craigslist. She is still, guys, uh, going through a lot of really great changes. Uh, I'm very happy with this bike, even before um, all these things that we, we keep doing to it, right? It just it keeps getting better. And um, I reached out to the guys over at Recluse, and they were on board uh, to send me one of their brand new Radius CX clutches. It is an automatic clutch, which means we can say goodbye to the clutch lever completely if we want to. I'll explain after I get this thing in. I'm not going to do an installation video, so before you click away or think this video is not going to be entertaining for you, there's a lot of really good detailed installation videos out there, and I highly recommend uh, Rocky Mountain has one that they did that teaches you a very good step-by-step. -step. So if you are interested in getting this clutch, and you do not feel like you are maybe mechanically possible for you to put this in, uh, there are some really, really good installation videos out there. So what I am going to do today uh, is I am going to get this brand new Recluse CX clutch in our YZ325. I was having issues with the stock clutch spinning under heavy torque with this. So I am really, really happy to be getting a, a high quality clutch that's going to prevent slippage and not only that but give me an automatic clutch which I've I've wanted for a long time and I can't thank the guys at Recluse enough for stepping up and saying this to me because um, it's really making this 2000 YZ250 guys uh, a bike that was um, I, I've never seen before I've, I've yet to see someone that's done this uh, as far on a YZ250 from 2000 um, Having said that, guys, I'm not bragging. I just, I think it's awesome that a bike this old can be made this rad with all the parts that are available today, guys. Um, it, it, the sky's the limit for old bikes. If you have an old bike, do not look at it as a, as a dinosaur. There are so many products out today that make these old machines competitive as new. And I do not mean that lightly. I mean that extremely, that these bikes can be built into a modern day competitive motocross racer having said that guys i have this thing all pulled apart as you saw i have the uh, clutch plate soaking in oil um and uh, what that's going to do guys is it hydrates the fibers if you if you're not savvy to that all the fiber that's inside the clutch it hydrates all of them and uh, it prevents when you first start it from that dry rubbing together um which will actually prematurely wear out your clutch these fibers are meant to be uh, abrasive in oil, which means that that's where they'll get the most grip. So, I'm going to get this thing installed, get it adjusted. It looks, I, I've, I watched a YouTube video from Rocky Mountain myself just to kind of get the knowledge. Plus, they send a really, really good um, installation manual with it too. So, even if you don't have access to the internet to watch a video or something like that, they have an installation guide that comes with your clutch as well that is very detailed and it explains it very well, even to the layman like myself. So... Let's get this thing in here, fire it up, and we are going to get this bike ready to put on the freaking dyno. So, uh, another thing that I have to make clear, uh, sorry, I keep banging the tripod against the backside here. Another thing I need to make very clear is, um, so, I mentioned it in the last video uh, that I have now switched over to what's called the uh, Eddie Sanders Racing CEO design. Uh, again, a lot of really great videos on it that explain it. Uh, it's a dished piston instead of a domed piston. It's the opposite and he designs a cylinder and uh, these things make insane power. I've seen a 310 with the CEO design uh, make about 65 horsepower and uh, I'm aiming for 60 myself. I think it's obtainable which would make this about the same horsepower as a, as a KX500 or a CR500 so that's kind of exciting guys. That's, that's a lot of power. But we're going to verify that for sure. Uh, I need to put, so there's not even but like five minutes of warm-up time on this uh, piston. So uh, the goal is today uh, to get this clutch in here, take it out, ride it. And uh, so, you know, after we install it, we'll go on a little test ride. And then uh, get this thing that much closer to being on the dyno, which I just need to get a radial rear tire for it, for the dyno itself. And um, yeah, start getting this thing dialed in. So
All right, guys, it's time. So, what I did is I got it tuned in. Actually, the settings from Recluse that they give you to set it up to um, the starting point was absolutely perfect for this. Uh, I love the engagement. I love everything about it. So, we're gonna uh, run the recommended, the, yeah, recommended starting point on the clutch adjustment like I just told around on my street playing around on it and, it and it was really good so I'm gonna get this thing warmed up and uh, we'll go play we'll go play with this auto clutch in the hills and and I'll show you the benefits and what this thing really does for for you guys so On Craigslist, just getting dragged through the vegetables, guys. Oh, oh B Rad would be proud. B Rad, if you're watching, be proud, dude. Oh, we're putting some scratches in this thing. Oh. So I spun like crazy before that hill. I need a little bit more speed than that. So there's something you need to know right there. It's in first right now. It will not bump start. So obviously it'd be easy to get yourself in a situation where you're thinking, oh, I need to bump start this thing and you can't. So you gotta remember that. Luckily, with this smart carb, this thing fires right up.
you guys can see, a lot of cool things I can play on today. Check out my bike, man. I don't want to scratch it up. It's a dirt bike. I want to keep it in good shape. So yeah, the only, and I mean the only, so far deficit to the Recluse CX, uh, Radius CX, excuse me, is I can't bump start it. But you know what I mean? I, come on. Uh, for having an automatic clutch, I mean this clutch, guys, is so freaking precise right off of bottom i think that's where i have it adjusted so it's like just a little bit of rev start to engage it and you could just start crawling and really use this big bore cylinder to its advantage you know this is what we built this bike for guys is for climbing through rocks and washes and up hills and this this bike is seriously rad uh we're gonna keep playing around. We got lots of stuff to do, obviously. We got hill climbs galore, sand washes. I think that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play in the sand wash. It's pretty, she's pretty eroded down here. All right, we're gonna go anyway. Guys, look. Right. Turn it off. Wow, look at that. Guys, I almost rode off that thing. Holy mackerel. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of glad I I was gonna just start blasting through the canyon, dude. I can't imagine coming lobbing off of that thing. I mean, there's gnarly, gnarly rocks in here. Yikes. Yep, guys, always pre-run your trail. Know what you're going to be facing. Because this is gnarly. Let's get turned around. So it's still in gear, guys. We're going to start it in gear. Not touch the clutch. Flip around. Ride the sand bank over there.
up, Brad. Gnarly, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I almost rode off this thing. Wrong. I'd be careful. I wouldn't do that. You get even though you have a helmet on, stuff come falling on your head. Yeah, because all yeah. Look at that's all dislodged all over there. Waiting to drop off. Yeah, dude. I looked at this thing, and I was about to just pin it. Say, forget it. I'm pinning it. Like, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna leap off this. I thought it was like a four or five foot drop off, like like something like that size up there. Right onto this. Yeah, oh. but then it was like, no, that's not at all. At what point did you realize that you shouldn't? Like literally, the closer I got to it, it was like that's not four or five feet. It was not a little drop. How close did you get to the edge? So what's your review of it, Robert? I like it. I like it a lot. It's it just. Ben, it, stop having a vagina. It rides so damn easy. It rides so easy. Yeah. It's sweet. It's like. Pointed in the direction, and I mean, it's got power for days. Right. And it's like the clutch grabs like instantly, so there's not any. But what's weird is like it is it doesn't like grab jolty. It grabs very it's very smooth, very yeah. smooth, and it's not like a centrifugal feel too, because a centrifugal has a bite and like a chirp. This is very linear. I mean, like so controllable, you could probably like walk this thing through tight cones, and it won't be herky jerky. Just be put 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 put. You know. Right. Right. And but when you win it, when you need it to chop and get you out of situation, you just flick it, it a little harder. And it goes, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. There's quartz and there's like a Ooh. vein of quartz in that. Sure enough, that's some crystal, neat, neato. It's crystal, crystallized something. Can we go crystal mat. Yeah, yeah, we'll flip around, and go back. I just crystal had to show you guys uh, where my day almost ended. Damn.
having so much fun on this bike. It's totally changed everything about this bike. Like how much fun it was before is amplified. gas back on To sum it up in one word guys, this bike is awesome. There's just no other way to put it. Uh, the Smart Carb with this ESR 325 cylinder, I had the best gas mileage out of everyone in the group today. I filled up uh, the least of everyone. Uh, the suspension took everything perfectly so from AHM uh, they did an absolute amazing job dialing in the suspension. Uh, the recluse clutch guys, seriously get one. I'm being serious, get one. They are so much fun. We crawled through the hills and mountains, uh, sand washes, did hill climbs, went through the valley, country roads, you name it. We did it all today. And I am so pumped to now go put this thing on the dyno and see what kind of power she's making. Yeah, I know it's gonna be a lot and I'll make sure and get that video as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys like this video as you got a little ride along today. So we'll talk to you guys very, very soon. That's a promise. Peace out. See you then.